Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Susie, and today I'm gonna to share with you three tips for stopping a panic attack in its tracks. So I used to suffer from really bad anxiety, and there was a period in my life when I had panic attacks like every day. And today, I still have anxiety sometimes, you know? Everybody does from time to time, but what I've learned is it's not about getting rid of the anxiety, it's about how you face it, how you handle it. The first thing that I do when I notice myself becoming anxious is pause. As that anxiety arises, it feels like everything is becoming urgent. It feels like it's going, 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 and something has to happen immediately. You know, my mind just starts going. So the best way to stop it in its tracks is to stop what I'm doing and create space. Once you find that place of pause, which may mean removing yourself from a situation, it may mean stepping outside for a moment, it may mean taking a quick bathroom break, then you have a second to yourself. That's when you do tip number two, which is breathe. My favorite breath for preventing the anxiety from escalating into a panic attack is called a box breath. And this is a four part breath. I'm gonna show it to you now. So in this breath, it's very, very simple. All you do is inhale for three counts, hold for three counts, exhale for three counts, hold out for three counts. Here, let's try it. So once you've found that moment of pause and connected with your breath, you can start to go a little bit deeper and ask your anxiety what it is that it's trying to tell you so that you can clear it. In my experience, anxiety is information coming in. It's our mind, our body, or our spirit trying to tell us something. This might mean starting a little dialogue with your anxiety. It might sound crazy, but it actually works. You can sit there with your eyes closed and just take a moment and check in. Ask yourself, hey, okay, I see that this anxiety is here. Anxiety, what are you trying to tell me? And then just listen. At that point, you should be feeling better. Your panic attack stopped in its tracks. This method always tends to work. I like to call it the PBA method. Pause, breathe, ask. This stops the anxiety from turning into a full-blown panic attack. It works for me and I'd love to hear if it works for you. Please take a moment, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this method, the PBA method. Or take a moment and share other tips on what works for you. Anxiety can feel scary. It can feel really overwhelming. And if you don't have the proper tools to stop it in its tracks, it can escalate and it can take you out. It can take you down. I used to let that happen to me, but I don't anymore. And I'm so grateful to have this amazing toolbox that helps me to live in a way where I can see my anxiety, I can befriend it, and I can let it serve as my teacher. I hope that you find that these three tips are useful to you too. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment now and hit subscribe. You can also click on the bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I have lots more amazing content coming for you. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it and leave a comment below. I really, really love to hear from you and I really hope that this video on three tips to stop your panic attack and its tracked was helpful. 